Hi, welcome to Hi-Fi Corner's YouTube channel. I'm Joe, and today we're going to be looking at this beauty right here. This is the D9 by Spender. This is a nice sized speaker. Now, it's intended for medium to large rooms, but because that it works so well, at low volumes. You could possibly have it in a small room, but I would not recommend it simply because of bass boom. Now the speaker is 1,125 millimeters in height. It is 385 millimeters in depth. The plinth then takes it to 409 millimeters in depth. And the width here is 210 millimeters. And but then the plinth then again takes it to 222 millimeters. All right, this is a three-way speaker with four drive units. You have your mid-range unit here, you have your tweeter, and then you have two bass units or low frequency units right there. This is Spender's fifth generation linear flow port technology here. All right, now it's been based off of Formula One diffuser technology. And what you see here is this aerodynamically central baffle here. And what that's doing is it's dividing the air as it flows into the speaker. And what that does in turn, it basically smooths out the airflow. So as it goes into the chamber, it's completely balanced in pressure. And it also has least amount of sound to it as possible. Now, does it work? In my ears, yes, because what that does is create a very clean and fast bass response. All right, so let's talk about the high frequency driver here. It's what Spender calls the LPZ tweeter, and that stands for linear pressure zone. And the reason why they call it that is for two reasons. First, the way it's been designed, and second, for the way it performs. It's been designed around this stainless steel plate. It creates a dampened chamber around the tweeter. It also has this microfoil in it, which has two purposes. It's phase correcting, and it also creates equalized pressure on both faces of the tweeter's diaphragm. So by doing that, it's operating in balanced linear mode. Let's talk about the mid-range drive unit here for a second. So it's 180 millimeters in diameter. It's made from advanced EP77 polymer and also includes a phase plug, all right? What Spender wanted to do with this mid-range drive unit was simple. They wanted to isolate it as much as possible. So they created its own complete isolated chamber within this cabinet. There's no crosstalk between any of the other drive units and there's no distortion within this chamber itself. Now moving down to the low frequency drive units here. Just like the mid-range drive unit, they are 180 millimeters in diameter. They are made from a two-part bonded light Kevlar composite cone, all right? And they are also in their own acoustic chamber there. So now let's talk about something that you can't necessarily see here, and that's the design of the cabinet itself. All right, now spenders see traditional dampening as problematic, as that it stores energy and slows down bass response. Now, the way that Spender got away from traditional dampening is simple. They've designed this cabinet with asymmetric aperture bracing that helps disperse internal waves and energy. And they've also put in there what they call dynamic dampening, which are little polymer, low mass polymer plugs put at key sections that help disperse energy into inaudible heat. And what that's done is create a very rigid and silent cabinet that has a very naturally fast bass response. So to conclude this introduction video on the D9 speaker by Spender, there's a few things I'd like to say. First and foremost, this is a hell of an accomplishment by Spender. I truly believe this is, has to be one of the best speakers I've heard them produce in a very long time, if not ever. I truly, really liked it right out of the box. I could tell that there's huge potential for this. It had to be run in, but all speakers do, so not a big deal. What I really liked about this speaker is the mid-range. 
I think this mid-range is some of the best I've ever heard, again, out of any Spender speaker I've listened to. And I think a lot of it has to do with it having its own separate chamber and completely isolated. The crossover has been well designed. Also, the bass response is exceptionally quick. And I think they've done a very good job with their internal bracing, their dynamic dampening to create a very, very fast and responsive bass. And again, Coming from the D7, this tweeter has proven itself over time to be excellent design. It's really a three-dimensional tweeter. This whole speaker is exceptionally balanced. I look forward to spending more time with this speaker and seeing what it can truly do. I've tested it on two different, three different amps already, ranging from about 1,000 pounds to 5,000 pounds. I'm interested to hear what this is gonna sound like on a 15, 20, 30,000 pound system. I think it will be at home, to be quite honest with you. This is Joe from Hi-Fi Corner saying thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves out there and always remember to enjoy your music.